Hey, 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 y'all. It's Summer Christiana, and welcome to another episode of The More Than a Creator. Let me see. Go ahead and invite our guests. Send this out to a few people. This is another episode. I'm so happy how we've been rolling. Our interviews have been going great. And it's amazing to get to know everyone that's been supporting me and wants to promote their brand. I'm really um, happy for them. Here we go, y'all. All right, we're going to get us some people in here. Okay. Great, great, great. All right. And we will get started momentarily. Our guest just hopped on. Now, I met Madeline um, recently, actually, for our photo shoot for the brunch that we have on the 14th. Here we go. The brunch that we have on January 14th is actually when she was really cool. Her energy is so dope. She likes to turn up. She turned up with all the group. Everybody just, they met each other that first day, and everybody was just lit together. Here she is. How are you doing, Madeline? Good. I'm great, great, great ready to get to know you and dive right on into it <laughs> first live so I figure out how to do all this oh wow okay well you hopped on good I can hear you good and I can see you well looks like you got some good lighting too so you're doing good so far <laughs> um just tell me a little bit about yourself who is Madeline Dover um so I'm I'm Madeline I'm 22 originally from Asheville North Carolina um I 21 years, so a long time. Um, moved down here to Georgia uh, at the beginning of this year. So I've only been down here about a year. But um, I started modeling in Asheville for fun, but I restarted down here. And I decided to take it more seriously as I got down here instead of just a hobby, you know. How did you know, like, modeling was for you? Did you, like see somebody on a billboard and you were like, I want to do that. Or do you have a story to go along with it? Um, well, actually before I tried modeling, I was doing photography. So already working with like a lot of models and taking pictures. I just knew like, you know, this looks fun. I know what I'm doing behind the camera, but I want to try jumping in front of the camera and being a model, like, you know, having yeah. I think that's good to learn, like, both sides. Because you, as a photographer, you're already directing the model, like, put your hand here, tilt your head up like this. So it was kind of like a, oh, I can do that type of thing. <laughs> what was your first experience modeling? Um, I did a couple photo shoots with a friend back in Asheville, like, in 2018. That was, like, my first um my first photo shoot, I think. Um, yeah, at that point, I was just doing it for fun. I didn't really know, like, I was going to, um, you know, come down here and start actually trying to make something out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Doing it. Oh. Actually started loving it. Good. Have you noticed the difference between your hometown and being in Atlanta? Yes. Um, there's definitely more of a market just for the entertainment industry in general in Atlanta. But, I mean, there's so much stuff to do in terms of modeling. Like, I work my butt off down here. <laughs> like, there's always something for me to be doing. I've probably done, I don't know, like, multiple shoots a month. Or at least, like, maybe over 15, I don't know. <laughs> and I work, I'm trying to, like, do that and do these shoots, you know. How do you stay focused, like, working and doing the shoots and everything? Um, I think I can attribute that to my anxiety. I'm so afraid that I'm everything. So I'm just like, you know, let's keep working. Let's just keep doing this till we see some results, you know. I think that's good. We haven't really touched um, anxiety on the show yet. So what are some ways that you kind of handle, like, do you meditate or anything like that just to relax and de-stress from a shoot and working? Yeah, well, not, not meditating, mm -hmm. but I like wind down time every night because 
you know, once you have a day of like stressfully like preparing for a shoot and then traveling and then doing the shoot, you have to come home and get your mind ready, settled. I mean, if you have anxiety, because sometimes if you're in that shoot mode, if you're in that work mode, you can't turn it off. So I have to like separate myself from that sometimes. I have like what I call like my work, my business mind. Mm -hmm. my okay, I got you. I got you. Um, so Domo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Domo Agency. I've seen you connected with them. D O M O. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the DO is uh, <laughs> the photographer's initials. Um, but yeah, they're like, a, I guess I would say like a model collective in a way. She got with me um, a couple months after I moved down here. And she's really helpful in terms of like um, finding different uh, photographers and people. She's always sitting stuff like that. And she also like is a photographer. So I shoot with her a lot too. Have you learned any techniques working with her? In terms of like modeling and stuff? I, honestly, in general. Like I know, um, of course, you have to have your business aspect. But sometimes meeting people, they can help you as a whole, whether it's spiritually, they teach you something with the career, or teach you an organization skill. So really on anything, have you learned anything valuable that you're taking with you while working with her? Um, Yeah, I would say so, just because like, while watching her, I learned how she uh, kind of goes out and finds the clients that she presents to us, basically. You know, I watch how she networks. And basically, I also watch how busy she is all the time. Like, I see also always working. So that kind of made me that more. Like, I realized that once you start doing something like this, there's not really a break. Right. Um, do you plan on being signed eventually or do you want to move along with this like independently? Um, I mean, it would be cool to be signed. Like I'm open to that right now. I'm, I'm pretty open to anything that can help me uh, elevate myself as a model, I guess. You know, if being signed is what's going to be that, then, you know, maybe one day. But if I can do it independently, I'm not opposed to that really either um what's your goal in modeling um my goal is to be able to support myself with modeling eventually that would want to be my uh full-time job you know i work full-time right now so i just do this whenever i can but i want to make it like my full-time thing you know i'm tired of like the nine to five life i want to do oh. something <laughs> i know that too well <laughs> What category do you like put yourself in? Oh, Dewan, remember Dewan from the photo shoot? Yeah. <laughs> he said shout out to the models. <laughs> what category do you put yourself? I, I don't know. I don't necessarily even want to say that. What categories are you most comfortable working with? Like we have print, video. You've been in the video too. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, video, you can do runway, commercial. You're really good at print. So which one do you feel most comfortable with? I mean, I would just say at default, my comfort zone is print. That's what I've been doing the most of. Um, like I just started doing like videos and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, I would say, I would say print is where I'm most comfortable since I started taking pictures. I kind of know what to expect with a photo. So um, tell us about your music video. Okay. So, uh, I actually uh, got that opportunity through um, do models. Like I think the the photographer found me through there. But um, so yeah, it's for a, a Haitian artist that lives in Atlanta. So um, he has like an up coming out, and so they wanted me to do a video with them for that. Wow! I shot a couple scenes for that a couple weeks ago with them. Was that your first, that was your first video? Yeah, that was my first music video. Ever. Awesome. And it's like a different um, genre. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a different genre than like the usual. I like that. So what did you do in the video? Um, so 
the video was kind of supposed to be a uh, scar themed in a way. Um, I was supposed to be kind of like the love interest, like Elvira Hancock or whatever her name was. Like, <laughs> artist was supposed to be more Tony Montana. Mm. You know, I had a scene where I had to put on a ski mask and hold, like this big fake gun. I didn't know. They were like, okay, put this on. I'm like, you know, that once I put this on, like, there is no telling what my makeup and my hair is going to look like when I pull it mm-hmm. off. But um, <laughs> so I had to do that. I did like a lingerie scene. Um, and I had to do dialogue. I didn't know I was going to be doing some acting and dialogue there, too. So I had to learn how to do that real quick. Yes. Uh, but it was cool. Yeah. I remember seeing the uh, picture of you with the ski mask and, and the gun. I was like, that was a different look like I hadn't seen that on your page scrolling through your work so I was like okay cool but yeah I'm glad you had a good time uh do you know crazy so I was like again video or else people are gonna think I'm crazy oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) um do you know when the video will drop or we'll be able to see all of it not really honestly but kind of up to this like so I mean I just got those pictures the other day so I'm waiting <laughs> really like okay gotcha. release the song or the video honestly but i did um so let's jump into i kind of started telling them a little bit about how we met each other but go ahead and tell them about your experience working with more than a model and being a part of the more than a creator promotional brunch shoot how was your experience that was so much fun um i decided that um you even consider part of it but um yeah it was so much fun it was like the first time that um I ever really got to shoot like in a room with like a lot of people where everybody was like doing something and there was like more than one model there Mm -hmm. and friends just because like I can't that a whole lot when I work remotely so it was so nice to like just meet some like other models and like what I can oh that makes me happy to hear and it's crazy how you guys like all meshed together and had a good time that's what I loved it wasn't like no one sitting to the side like oh that's okay thank you I'm good like everybody was dancing turning up having a good time lit 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 and um Natalia, she's supposed to be having a brunch soon, too. So hopefully I'll see you at that one. I'll send you the information so you can probably come out to that. Because me and Chrissy, the photographer, we're going to go to it. I think it's on, yes, tomorrow on Sunday. So I'll send that to you. Um, What stories do you have being in the industry? I know one big thing is safety. That's what we've addressed on the show, especially being at my workshops. You haven't been to one yet, but at my workshops, I make sure that I address safety in the industry because it's Atlanta. There's a lot of scams around here, and especially being a woman here, you have to make sure you're safe. So do you have any issues or stories or tips with safety being in the industry? Um, I mean, yeah, I think, unfortunately, you know, I'm kind of like horse. Um, my first shoot with a professional photographer was probably what started my initial fear of like, um, unfortunately, it made me afraid to shoot with male photographers. Mm-hmm. It, and ever since then, I've kind of had to be like, um, very selective with who I work with. I always have to make sure like, you know, when they send me the address, I want to pull it up like on Google Maps and see what the area looks like, you know. Yeah in my location to my friends or my boyfriend I always have to take those kind of precautions but, um you know the more I've been working uh-oh your sound's going in and out um, um I heard you say the more you've been working oh I've been working down here I've been getting comfortable working with all types of people Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, who's your favorite photographer to work with? I know you mentioned the Do. Am I saying it right, Domo? <laughs> I think it's Do Models. Like I honestly, okay. yeah, that I'm pretty sure it's just Do Models. Um, 
<laughs> but no, she, uh, Desiree, she's really great to work with. Honestly, it's hard for me to say like my favorite though, because I work with a lot of great photographers, like um, OMG Photography. Like she's great. Her name's uh, Cherie. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of great, a lot of great people, a lot of great women specifically that I've worked with while I've been down here. And um, the photographer that you had back in your hometown, do you still work with them or do you reach back out and do anything with your hometown as far as modeling? Um, I haven't, but I'm not necessarily opposed to it. Um, I think the the girl that I used to shoot with, she isn't like a photographer anymore. Okay. But there there are still like photographers and models that I do know in Africa. So I could, you know, go and do shoots if I wanted to. Good. What's been like your coming of age moment in modeling? Um, I my first lingerie shoot maybe that was like the first time where I had to really um I don't know I guess put myself out there. Right. I had to learn how to be comfortable with myself like that really quickly in front of someone else. You know. Um. Yeah, it still makes me nervous, but I've gotten more comfortable. Like, obviously, like, in the music video, I also lingerie for some While that was nerve-wracking, I was more comfortable because I had done it in the past. What was your first lingerie shoot? Um, so I did a lingerie shoot with um, OMG Photography a couple months ago. Um, so she wanted to do a calendar, basically. Um, actually just uh got like the first print of that calendar but it was like um each picture was just like a month or, I'm sorry each month was a picture of in like a different lingerie look like there's a couple like birthday themed pictures or like uh we did like a floral milk bath oh wow that too so um hopefully I'll be uh able to share some more of those images like so people kind of know what that looks like and the account is also available for purchase, so. Okay, cool. And then the um, most recent that you did with the music video, did you work with, I know with the music video, you did work with a male. So working with women, I know you're comfortable with doing that, but did you notice a difference working with the woman first and then working with the male? Did that contribute to your nervousness or were you more comfortable with the woman first like how did how did that work what are the differences with those um I mean yeah default I would say I'm just generally more comfortable with just because of my past experiences unfortunately that gives me a bias but um, at that time I was really young but at this point I'm a woman so I can you know I have more of a say with what goes on right at me even like during a shoot and quite honestly the the men that I worked with on this music video shoot, very respectful great they always made sure I was comfortable I uh oh you went out again oh I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard you say that the men were very respectful yeah, they were respectful. Um, they made sure I was comfortable. They never treated me like I was just, you know, the muse, like the model in it, like I was the talent too, you know. And I, um, sorry, is my audio still? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, I'm so sorry. You're good. Um, what do you have, like, as far as advice for women that want to get in the industry? Um, I would say. what makes you most comfortable. Like, um, I think for me, like, just starting out shooting fashion made me the most comfortable. That was where I felt the most confident. And, you know, once you do that, once you establish where you're most confident, then you learn to do any kind of shoot. You become more comfortable with everything. Um, and it's, it's also very empowering as a woman just to, you know, go and do these shoots and then pictures afterwards and think like wow like beautiful 
and I can do this look and I can do this and I can be versatile. You know what I mean? So it definitely helps with self-confidence for sure. And where can everyone find you at? Um, so Instagram, Twitter, all that. Um, I don't have a Twitter, but um, I, I would say like Instagram is definitely <laughs> where I stay the most active. Um, I mean, I also have like Facebook and stuff, but this is where you all of my, um, all of my uh, BTS, like my photo shoots. I do also have a TikTok, Atomic Punk 6. I do post a lot of like reels there. Um, and also just a lot of photo shoot stuff. So those are my main two platforms, Instagram and TikTok. All right. Any final words before we wrap up our interview? Um, well, I just wanted to say thank you for interviewing me. I had a lot of fun. And Good. Thank you for coming out. I had to interview you. I want to hit all of the models, especially because you guys have worked with me and I have a personal relationship with y'all. So I definitely wanted to get y'all on my platform because I want both of us to grow together. You know what I mean? So that was most important to me. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you. I'll see you soon then. Thank you. All right, y'all. That was the episode of More Than a Creator. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one. I'll keep y'all updated. We have a few different interviews lined up moving forward. If you want to book an interview, just go to the link in my bio. Scroll, 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 scroll. And then you'll see uh, book your interview. And then you'll hit the date and what time you want to book. So thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Summer's only one season, but stick with me where it's summer year round.